So this is um, Mystical Prism, and we're working on block three, and that's the one with the pretty star points. Um, that would be the hardest part of the block. Everything else is pretty straight, and we're sure you can do that. Um, if you have any problems, just let us know. But we're going to do the star points for you. So we are using the Magic Studio 180V block trimmer because this is the best way to get a beautiful point without it being lopsided or hanging off the side, and it's really easy to use. So the first thing we're going to do is cut the center part of the blocks. And to do that, we have a 5-inch strip of fabric, and we've lined up the top and bottom edges. It is folded. And then, um, we're, so it's two layers. You can have just two layers if you want to. And then we're going to fold over um, and sort of make a crease, but make sure the top and the bottom are still lined up. Now, if you notice, um, on the ruler it says, this is a four and a half inch draw, four inch finished unit, and it says to cut the strips at five inches. So, Becky has cut the strips at five inches, and we are going to come in, and it's not quite folded far enough over, so I'm just going to fold it just a little bit more, and line up the fold line for the center triangles on the fold and the four inch um, finished unit line right here at the bottom. And then when I make my first cut and pull this away, you will see that we've made two center triangles. So when you do um, the rest of your triangles, what you're going to do is just take the ruler and turn it upside down and line up the center triangle trim line. And I'm going to make those bottom pieces line up perfectly again. And the four inch line right on the four inch and then you make your next cut. And you want to make 16 center um, triangles for the V blocks because there's four blocks. So after you get that done, you're going to make the outside triangles. And this is just a wee tad trickier. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the salvage since I'm not cutting at an angle the first time. So I'm just lining up the ruler and taking off the salvage area. And then I'm going to turn it to the left because I'm right-handed. And this time I am going to use the cut line for the side triangles. I'm going to line that up with the end. I'm going to line up the 4-inch finished area. And then I'm going to take my first cut. You notice this is folded together. And that means you get a right side and a left side to your block. Um, so you actually are cutting pairs, and we would need 16 pairs. So after you cut the very first one, obviously I can't line that straight, up at, that straight edge up again. So what I'm going to do is turn this around, and I'm going to line this line up with the edge. So the first time we flipped, this time we rotated. And once I have the top and that line right there lined up, I'm going to take my next cut, which squares up the side again. So that makes two sets. So I'm going to turn it back around, line it up again, and each time you cut, you're going to end up with a pair which is a left and a right side for the triangles. So to set these up, sometimes I see people trying to make them into wings. So they want to put the little end at the little end of the triangle. And if you look, that is not a block. That is a delta wing kite, I'm pretty sure. So what I'm going to do now is flip this so that you can tell when I'm done, I'm going to end up with a square you're going to sew all of the right hand sides on first and press out 
and then sew all of the left sides on and press out and then we'll meet back here to trim the blocks. When you do um, sew them, you are going to line up your fabric point to point. There's nothing hanging off the edge of the point where traditionally this block is made by making a rectangle and cutting it in half and then part of it's hanging way down. But you don't have to do this with this ruler to end up with perfect V blocks and that is really difficult to do even for the most advanced quilter. So we're going to sew these together and we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're continuing on with um, Mystical Prism Block 3. And I wanted to show you my blocks before I started cutting. So um, here is one that's pretty well perfect. If you notice this little edge is nice and straight there. But the thing is, we're working with bias and sometimes that little edge isn't straight. So as you can see, my V block is sort of tilted to the side there. But what I wanted to show you is the magic of the trimmer and why um, this is a great method to use. So these are slightly oversized and we're going to use the V block trimmer tool to trim it exact. So if you notice, there's numbers along the top here and we have a four inch finished so I am going to line up the 4 inch um, V right here with my seam line. And my block is what you might consider upside down. It's sort of V for victory. Um, but this is the way you make the first cut, which is different than some of the other rulers. So I've lined up the V. And I'm just going to go up this side, which you can tell isn't straight, and over the top, which you can also tell isn't straight because the block wasn't straight to begin with. And after we make the first cut, we're going to turn it right side up like a tent. And we're going to line up the cut sizes over here. So I'm going to put it at four and a half inches and four and a half inches going both directions. And you see that little hash mark at the top? That's right in the corner of the point of the V block. And then again, I'm going to cut up and over. And as you can see, there's a little bit of fabric on every side. So even though my block is not perfect, when I cut it, got just a little thing there. And when I cut it and take away the ruler, you can see that it is absolutely perfect with a nice quarter inch on the end. And your quarter inch on the side is going to hit exactly so that you've got that point coming right down in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these up because again, we have 16 of them. And then we'll go on to assembly of the block. Okay guys, here we are getting ready to assemble block three. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the center area. So um, Becky has made the center area and as you can see it is two little blocks on a rectangle. But the blocks on the rectangle sometimes are backwards to each other. So you're going to mirror image them and do two with the um, purple on the right and the turquoise on the left and two with the turquoise on the right and the purple on the left and then it makes that beautiful little four patch right in the center. It's sort of like a pinwheel but chunkier. And here are the four star points that we made in the last step and the only other thing you need to do is make four patches. Um, as you look at this you can tell that these four patches are not the same. On this end, we have a purple, a lavender, and two aqua. And a purple, a lavender, and two aqua. But on this side, we have a lavender, two aqua, and a darker turquoise. So you have two of these and two of these. And then you're just going to put them together into a nine patch. So we'll see you at the end. Okay, guys, this is the final... Um, block three and as you can tell there are two 
turquoise in the corner and two purple in the corner and that's really important when you go to put your blocks together so make sure that you have it that way and look at those beautiful quarter inch points so when we go to put this block with the next block absolutely no problem you will not lose your points so that's why we use the studio 180 rulers we love 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 them and um I'm sure you'll do just fine putting this together, just like we did. So I will see you next month.